Hey everybody, so today we're going to look at Dynamo and creating solar panels from a CAD file. Now, this is a specific example I used on a project where the user was wanting to create a bunch of solar panels uh, and they had a CAD file and uh, that they received from the client and they wanted to create these solar panels with real Revit families. So we were able to uh, generate the families automatically uh, after looking at the CAD file, realizing that we could potentially use Dynamo to automate the process. Um, so I'm going to step by step kind of go through that process or at least look at these overall groups. And then we'll jump into Revit and kind of look at um, uh, running that script. So the first part of this script is just filtering out the CAD files. Uh, the user somewhat knew Dynamo or at least um, could open it. And um, what all they had to do was type in the uh, name of the file that they wanted the, this script to, to run against. So in this example, we're using sample buildings. And uh, the output uh, at the end of this is just uh, import instance. So it, it finds that CAD file. Uh, now, you could go about this in a variety of different ways. You could uh, attach a UI to that, so it's a little bit easier. You could use Dynamo Player, uh, and you could also, uh, even if, it, I mean, if you knew the structure of the names, you could even automatically filter out and grab the specific one. So there's a couple different ways to go about it. Uh, the quickest one for me was to quickly throw a code block, and then uh, the user knew exactly what to do. So it was, it was very quick for that instance. All right, so this is the CAD file. You can see some solar panels here. Um, and this is the CAD file we're going to be working with inside the Revit file. Uh, and uh, real quick, all the files that we're going to work with, the Dynamo script, the CAD file, the Revit file, um, you'll find all of that in the downloads below in the OneDrive link. Just find the folder called Create Solar Panels uh, CAD. And then uh, you can download all the content and do this yourself. So this is a solar panel and you can see the lines here, these inner lines uh, that make up this rectangle. Now if we could grab those lines, we could create a, uh, a surface and then grab that surface's uh, center point. And so that's exactly what we do. Um, it, it, because of the CAD file and because of how simple the, the, line, the lines were, um, and, and that there wasn't a bunch of uh, craziness going on, we were able to extract that information pretty easily. So the next part is to pull curves from the CAD file. Very easy to do, you just tie in the layer name and then you can grab the curves uh, from that file. And then I flatten the, the list after. And then what we do is we just filter out the lines that are unnecessary so that when we group all these curves together, it's a little bit quicker. So uh, anything, so what we do here is just get anything between 3 and 5.04. Uh, and then uh, what we do is we take that and uh, into this group curves node. And I forgot to mention, uh, I use two packages, the ArchiLab package and then BIM morphs. We'll uh, make sure to look at that when we're when we're in the Dynamo graph. So uh, group curves from ArchiLab, and uh, if you open this up, there's a Python script that's doing uh, all the work, and it's pretty much uh, looking at the lines and seeing uh, how close they are uh, to one another, and then it groups them together. Uh, so a very handy node. The next part, and um, let me zoom in. Okay, the next part is filter out list with more than four lines. So I knew, you know, by looking at that CAD file, the, the rectangle is only made up of four lines. So we know that anything that has less or more than that is probably not the elements we're looking for. So this is just a fail safe just to prevent uh, random things getting in, in there before we uh, turn them into surfaces. All right, so uh, now we create the surfaces. So we tie in those those uh, those points, and they're structured in. Or I mean, those uh, curves, and they're already structured in nice uh, list. And then we turn that into a surface. 
and then we just get the centroid of that solid or that surface and then since now we have that point all we have to do is take our family so in this case so I just have a family one which is inside the project if you uh, download um, I just use family one and then that's the family we're gonna place by point and then uh, if you need to rotate it I added a family instance dot set rotation uh, so that you can rotate it all right so now uh, and also this is the uh, the family we're going to use so I just created a generic model uh, very very simple obviously you could add to that um, add a, a variety of different things to it all right so and one last thing before we jump into into that uh, if you if you want to join our Discord, go ahead and and do that. The link's right here. You can also find information below in the description. Totally free. It's there just as a community uh, to help folks. Uh, if you have questions, you can reach out. Uh, and I, I try to stay active. I try to uh, answer questions when I can, or connect uh, you to to somebody that can uh, that, that can possibly help. Uh, so definitely check that out if you want. All right. So here is the script. It hasn't ran yet. I have the, the last part frozen. And so I'm going to uh, press run on this. It's going to go through and uh, do everything that we just talked about. You can see in the background we have surfaces, we have uh, curves, we have points. Uh, you can see the center points there. Now if I pull this over, you can see uh, kind of what's going on in this file. So I'm going to unfreeze that last part and then we're going to have um, our uh, families placed in there. And while I remember it, uh, the here are the packages and the versions, so BIM, BIM Morph nodes and Archilab. So now I'm going to unfreeze this one. I'm going to keep this rotation frozen for now. Uh, I built this family exactly how it's supposed uh, uh, supposed to go inside of the the project. But obviously, if you have different uh, solar panels with different orientations, you could um, um, tie that. Uh, you can set this whatever you want it to be to represent those correctly. All right, so we're going to run it, and it runs pretty quickly. And then you can see that uh, the families are there in the, the correct location so I just wanted to share this workflow uh, to show uh, just a cool way of tackling a problem and the cool thing about this was it started with a conversation about uh, just linking in CAD files and I was like well you know why don't we uh, try to leverage Dynamo for this this is a perfect example we could knock out a script uh, in an hour or so and then be able to uh, run it against this project and then you save a ton of time they had multiple projects I think it was somewhere around two to three thousand solar panels placed all over the place and they were able to run this script and, and quickly place them so it saved a lot of time uh, but this is just one example of doing that you know you can take this script download it tweak it uh, add to it remove from it do whatever you want it's your script after you download it um, so feel free to do that uh, in the and you'll find that link below in the description so uh, let me know if you have any questions and feel free to reach out anytime uh, and I'll see you in the next video